O'Neill cylinders are a visionary concept for space settlements proposed by physicist Gerard K. O'Neill in the 1970s. These massive rotating space habitats would be built in Earth's orbit or beyond, designed to sustain millions of people in a self-sufficient environment. Each cylinder would be several kilometers long and wide, rotating to create artificial gravity through centrifugal force. The interior would feature cities, forests, rivers, and even weather systems powered by solar energy and supported by closed loop ecosystems for food, water, and air recycling. O'Neill envisioned these habitats as a way to relieve population pressure on Earth and expand human civilization into space, using materials from the moon and asteroids for construction. While still theoretical, O'Neill cylinders remain an inspiration for future space colonization and long-term human habitation beyond Earth. Nuclear-powered rockets are a game-changing propulsion technology that could revolutionize space travel by offering higher efficiency and faster speeds than traditional chemical rockets. These rockets use nuclear thermal propulsion, NTP, or nuclear electric propulsion, NEP. In NTP, a nuclear reactor heats a propellant like liquid hydrogen, rapidly expanding it to generate thrust. This method provides twice the efficiency of chemical rockets, reducing travel time to Mars by nearly half. NEP, on the other hand, converts nuclear energy into electricity to power ion thrusters, offering high efficiency for deep space missions. NASA and DARPA are actively developing nuclear propulsion for future Mars and deep space missions. With the ability to carry heavier payloads and shorten interplanetary trips, nuclear-powered rockets could be the key to human expansion into the solar system. A massive new satellite is revolutionizing mobile connectivity by beaming high-speed internet directly to cell phones from space, eliminating the need for ground-based cell towers. Unlike traditional satellite internet, which requires specialized dishes, this technology allows standard smartphones to connect seamlessly, even in remote or rural areas. Companies like AST Space Mobile and Link Global are leading the charge deploying large, low-Earth orbit LEO satellites equipped with powerful phased array antennas to provide global coverage. These satellites act as space-based cell towers, ensuring connectivity in dead zones, disaster-struck regions, and underserved areas. With major telecom partnerships and rapid technological advancements, satellite-to-phone service could soon provide uninterrupted global connectivity, transforming communication, emergency response, and internet access worldwide. Space habitats are self-sustaining structures designed to support human life in space. Whether in orbit, on the moon, Mars, or deep space, these habitats must provide air, water, food, radiation protection, and artificial gravity to ensure long-term survival. Current developments include NASA's Lunar Gateway, SpaceX's Starship-based habitats, and vast space's commercial space stations. Concepts such as inflatable modules, Bigelow Aerospace, 3D printed lunar bases, and rotating space stations for artificial gravity are being explored to enhance livability. On Mars and the Moon, potential habitats could be built using regolith-based construction or lava tube shelters to protect against radiation and extreme temperatures. These advancements will be critical for deep space exploration, colonization, and sustaining human life beyond Earth. Starlifters are a theoretical class of megastructures proposed in advanced astrophysics and speculative engineering. The concept involves using a Dyson-like structure to extract and harness the energy and material from stars, extending their lifespan or utilizing them for interstellar projects. One version suggests a gravity-based megastructure that pulls material from a star's surface for use in space engineering, refueling, or stellar modification. Another version involves using electromagnetic or magnetic fields to control and redirect stellar mass ejections for power generation. If developed, star lifters could allow civilizations to control stellar evolution, mine valuable elements like helium-3, hydrogen, and metals, and even extend the sun's life. This idea aligns with type two and type three civilizations on the Kardashev scale, 
marking a major step toward ultimate energy mastery in space. A space elevator is a revolutionary concept designed to transport people and cargo from Earth to space without rockets. It consists of an ultra-strong tether anchored to Earth's surface and extending to geostationary orbit, 35,786 kilometers up, where centrifugal force keeps it taut. Climber vehicles would ascend the cable, powered by lasers, solar energy, or electromagnetic propulsion drastically reducing launch costs and risk compared to rockets. The biggest challenge is developing a material strong enough to handle extreme tension. Carbon nanotubes and graphene are potential candidates, but large-scale production is not yet feasible. If built, a space elevator could revolutionize space exploration, making orbital access, lunar missions, and deep space travel far more practical and affordable. Space-based solar power, SBSP, is a revolutionary concept that involves collecting solar energy in space and transmitting it wirelessly to Earth. Unlike ground-based solar panels, space-based systems aren't affected by weather, atmospheric interference, or night cycles, allowing for constant, unlimited energy generation. Large satellite solar farms in orbit would capture sunlight and convert it into microwave or laser energy which would then be beamed to receiving stations on Earth and converted into electricity. This technology could provide clean, renewable energy on a massive scale, reducing dependence on fossil fuels. Challenges include high launch costs, energy transmission efficiency, and orbital maintenance. But advances in wireless power transfer, robotics, and modular satellites are bringing SBSP closer to reality. If successful, it could redefine global energy production and support deep space missions. The X-37B is a top secret unmanned space plane developed by Boeing for the US Space Force. Resembling a miniature space shuttle, this reusable vehicle is launched aboard a rocket and can remain in orbit for years at a time before autonomously returning to Earth. Its exact mission details remain classified but it is believed to test advanced space technologies, surveillance systems, and potential military applications. The X-37B has completed multiple long-duration missions, with its longest flight exceeding 900 days in orbit. Speculation surrounds its capabilities, including satellite deployment, space-based reconnaissance, and potential anti-satellite operations. As space becomes an increasingly strategic domain, the X-37B represents a crucial asset in the U.S.'s advanced space operations and defense strategy. Artemis II is NASA's first crewed mission to the moon in over 50 years, marking a major step toward returning humans to lunar exploration. Scheduled for 2025, Artemis II will carry four astronauts aboard the Orion spacecraft launched by the Space Launch System on a 10-day mission around the Moon. This mission will test Orion's life support systems, deep space communication, and re-entry capabilities, paving the way for Artemis III, which will land astronauts on the lunar surface. The crew, NASA's Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen, will travel nearly 370,000 kilometers from Earth, setting the stage for long-term lunar exploration. Artemis II is a critical step toward building a sustainable human presence on the moon, leading to future Mars missions and beyond. Space mining on asteroids is a futuristic concept that aims to extract valuable resources from asteroids to support space exploration and benefit Earth's economy. Asteroids contain metals like gold, platinum, nickel, and iron, along with water ice that can be converted into fuel for deep space missions. Companies like Asteroid Mining Corporation, Planetary Resources, and NASA are developing technologies to locate, extract, and process these materials. The process would involve robotic spacecraft surveying asteroids, drilling into their surfaces, and transporting the materials back to Earth or space stations. Space mining could revolutionize space exploration by providing raw materials for building habitats, 
refueling spacecraft, and supporting long-term missions. However, challenges include high costs, technical feasibility, and legal regulations surrounding resource ownership in space. The European Space Agency, ESA, has selected Thales Alenia Space to develop its European Large Logistics Lander, EL3, a key step in Europe's lunar exploration ambitions. This robotic cargo lander will support future crewed Artemis missions, delivering supplies, scientific instruments, and infrastructure to the moon's surface. The EL3 will be capable of carrying up to 1.5 tons of payload and executing precision landings in different lunar regions. Designed for multiple missions, it will aid in building a sustainable human presence on the moon, supporting scientific research, resource utilization, and lunar habitation projects. Thales Alenia Space, in collaboration with ESA and other European partners, will develop the lander for launch by the early 2030s, marking Europe's growing role in deep space exploration and lunar sustainability. Alderson disks are a hypothetical megastructure concept proposed by scientist Dan Alderson. They are envisioned as massive disk-shaped structures orbiting a star, designed to provide an enormous habitable surface area far greater than a planet. The disk would be several astronomical units in diameter with a star at its center, and it would be thick enough to have its own gravity. Atmosphere would be held in place by the disk's gravity, allowing for Earth-like conditions across vast regions. The inner and outer edges could have massive walls or artificial magnetic fields to prevent atmosphere loss into space. Alderson disks would provide immense real estate for civilizations, but they pose extreme engineering challenges, including gravitational stability, heat distribution, and material requirements. While purely speculative, the concept is popular in science fiction and megastructure engineering theories. Wormholes, also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges, are theoretical shortcuts through space-time, potentially connecting distant points in the universe or even different universes. Predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, they would allow for faster-than-light FTL travel without violating physics, making interstellar and intergalactic travel feasible. A traversable wormhole would require exotic matter with negative energy to keep it stable and prevent collapse. Without this, natural wormholes, if they exist, would likely be too unstable or microscopic for practical use. If harnessed, wormholes could revolutionize space exploration, time travel, and even interdimensional travel. While still theoretical, research in quantum physics and general relativity continues to explore whether wormholes could one day be stabilized and used for real-world applications. EOS X Space is a Spanish space tourism company aiming to offer high-altitude balloon flights to the edge of space. Unlike traditional rocket-based space tourism, EOS X uses a pressurized capsule attached to a massive helium-filled balloon, allowing passengers to experience breathtaking views of Earth from the stratosphere, around 40 kilometers, 25 miles above the surface. The company plans to provide zero-emission, luxury space travel with six-hour flights including a two-hour ascent, one-hour stay at peak altitude, and gradual descent. These flights will offer panoramic views of the planet, near-space conditions, and an unforgettable experience without requiring astronaut training. With ambitions to launch commercial operations soon, EOS X Space is positioning itself as a competitor to companies like Space Perspective and Worldview, making space more accessible and sustainable for future travelers. The Haven 2 module is emerging as a potential replacement for the International Space Station, ISS, as the era of the ISS nears its end. Developed by Vast Space, Haven 2 is a privately funded space station module designed to support long-term human habitation, scientific research, and commercial activities in low Earth orbit, LEO. Unlike traditional space stations, Haven 2 is being designed with expandable habitats advanced life support systems, and modular scalability, 
allowing it to grow over time. Its deployment could mark a new era of commercial space stations, reducing reliance on government-led projects like the ISS. With the ISS set for retirement in the early 2030s, Haven 2 and similar commercial stations could pioneer the future of space habitation, providing a platform for research, tourism, and deep space mission support while maintaining human presence in orbit worldwide.